Hello and welcome to City Focus. I'm Diane Gonzalez. Many government and nonprofit boards and commissions in our community are looking for ways to include more ethnic and minority individuals to their membership. A program that's aimed at helping those groups and individuals is starting its third year in Lincoln. It's called Project All. That stands for Academy for Local Leadership. And joining me to talk about the project are Dean Finnegan from Leadership Lincoln and Lori Seibel from the Community Health Endowment. Um, these two organizations partnering with the mayor's office on this project. Thank you both very much for being here today. Thanks for having us. Lori, I'm going to start with you. And where did the idea for Project All come from? Well, you know, Project All really grew out of an outside view of Lincoln. Robert Wood Johnson came to town a few years ago and began looking at our health care system primarily and our health care safety net. And one of the things they saw immediately and they brought back to us in the form of a recommendation was the fact that many of our nonprofits were being governed by groups that were not diverse. Although the people that those nonprofits were served, they're serving, their clients, were diverse. And that raised a question in all of our minds about how we could do better at that. About the same time, as a funder in our, in, in our community, one of the things that we saw over and over again were organizations trying to diversify their boards but having difficult difficulty doing that so the last thing as a funder or as a foundation we wanted to do was require them to do something that perhaps we needed to have more focused attention on and a bigger community response and so that's when dean and i began talking about how we could respond to this issue and project all was born why is this an issue in Lincoln, do you think, Dean? You've been involved with leadership organizations for a long time. Um, why have boards had such a hard time recruiting? I think it's a couple of things. Um, first, we don't have a large population of people of color in Lincoln. And second, uh, boards tend to often recruit board members from people they know. And so if we don't know one another, um, it's hard to recruit. Well, tell, us so. about, tell me about the process. Um, how does, how does the project work? Well, the first thing I might mention is that the, pro the project was put together by a group of advisors. And it, were f it was folks who not only had served on boards, who had run nonprofits, who had experienced serving on a board as a minority and what that experience um, brought to them. But we brought people together and we said, let's create the best possible kind of program because there aren't models for this kind of thing that we could just turn to and bring in a cookie cutter approach to Lincoln. So it involved really a lot of brainstorming, a lot of discussion over at Leadership Lincoln with a lot of different folks. So that's really how the impetus, we just didn't come in with a recipe and put it into place. I think, Dean, you might be able to help me. I'm, I'm thinking we spent a good year talking about it first. At least a year planning it. We really wanted to get our arms around it and um, come up with a program that was solid and fit the needs of both the participants and the not-for-profit community. Now, how did you uh, recruit members to be in Project All? We took several steps. Uh, we held a meeting with business leaders in town and told them about the project and um, offered them the opportunity to nominate people from their companies to serve in on the or participate in the program. We um, went to the Human Service Federation, we went to the community centers and uh, put ads in the papers. So it was uh, also who do you know that might benefit from this? So it was, there was a personal touch also. Now once the class is recruited, they attend, is it four sessions in the spring, four one-day sessions? Four sessions uh, last year, five this year. The class asked for an additional session this coming year, so there'll be five sessions. We start in February, and we'll go through the first week in June. And what are some of the topics that are covered during the sessions? Well, the first session we want them to get to know each other, so there's a lot of, of um, exploration of their own personal learning styles, working with groups, that kind of activity. The second program day, we take them into the community um, and give them a little tour of Lincoln and some history on the, um, the minority populations that have really created a good environment in Lincoln have done wonderful things in Lincoln. We don't often know about the contributions the minority communities have, have made to Lincoln. And we also begin to visit not-for-profit agencies so that they get to understand the needs going on in town. And then we also um, have a session on board governance where they learn what it's like to be a board member they learn how to read financials and understand them and, and get a chance to ask questions about board governance. 
And then once the session um, concludes, or once the sessions conclude, what happens then? Well, I think then we really look to the community to say, um, number one, how can you diversify your boards? But number two, why do you want to diversify your boards? It's just not a matter of diversifying your board so that you get grant funding or that perhaps you appear to be doing something that you should be doing. But the question is, why do you want to do that? How will that change your organization? Why is it going to be meaningful to your organization? How will it help you be a better organization? And once there's a strong sense that both sides of the equation have a really good understanding of how this is going to improve Lincoln, then a matching process takes place. It doesn't always happen quickly. Um, I think our intention early on was that as soon as the class was over, we were going to have these, these happy partnerships. But what you find out is that it takes a while for individuals now to explore and think. It takes a while for openings to open up on the boards that people want. So it is a process that never stops. Once the class graduates, then in some respects the real work begins in making the best matches for the community. Is there a mentoring aspect to that as well? Yes, we have um, assigned mentors to each of the participants the last, last year and this coming year. And um, the mentors meet with their participants and ask how it's going, how can they help, um, what are some of the drawbacks, what are some of the positives. And so that mentoring aspect, I think, is key. Well, in just a few minutes, we're going to visit with a couple graduates of the program. How many uh, people have completed it so far? I believe it's about 25 people so far. Oh, no, it's more than that, isn't it? No, it's it? about, about 25. 25. 25. Yeah. And what 25, have you yeah. learned from the first two, two sessions? We have some incredibly talented people who have found their passion and um, are interested in, in getting involved in serving in Lincoln. It's been great to get to know some new people in Lincoln and to see um, uh, the contributions they're willing to make in the community. Well, and I can tell you, when we went into the very first session and I looked out over the group of people, none of whom really knew each other, and it was so quiet in the room. And of course, this was such a new idea, and like with any new idea, you have some trepidation about whether it's going to work or not. And when you walked out that first day, you really just hoped for the best. You, you knew you had tried to create the best kind of program, and you knew that you had selected a great class, and you put together great leaders like Dean to help with this. When I came back in the last se session, the environment in the room was entirely different. I mean, there was so much conversation, there was so much camaraderie, there was so much friendship. I mean, it was just amazing how not only the group had bonded, but how they'd found their mission, they'd found their passion, they knew what their next step was going to be. And over the course of four short months, it had really transformed a group of people to go out and serve the community. And we were so pleased. We felt like the idea had reached you know, a point where we could say it was successful, and we still believe that. When you see people that are anxious to contribute, anxious to give of themselves, mm -hmm. and share their talents, it's a, it's a real joy, and that's what we're seeing. Now, this is a free program for the mm -hmm. participants, that's and right. what, what are the other requirements? Any, any requirements? I think an interest in serving the community, an interest in being involved, if you don't have an interest, it's hard to teach you anything else that's going to really make a difference. So that interest um, has to be there and the commitment to serve once you're finished. Now the third Project All session begins early next year. You're now taking applications. We want to let people know that applications are available on the Community Health Endowment website, that's chelincoln.org. Or you can call Leadership Lincoln and get an application form. Their number is 441-4661. And Dean, what kind of uh, questions do you ask on the, on the application? We ask them you know, what their interests are, why they want to be involved, um, what they've been involved in to date, so we have some kind of baseline, um, ways they think they can contribute, what, um, what's important to you, basic it, questions. It's not an extensive application that's going to take them hours. No, not at all. Okay. I think it, it, you know, very basic questions, but gives us an, um, an inside look into who they are and what they, want to, what they want to do with their lives. And Lori, what's your hope for the future of the program? My hope, it, was, it, will, it will just get bigger and better. And I think the one component that we look forward to is seeing businesses in this community respond to the call to look for people within their organizations that can participate in Project All and really raise this program to a level where we can be a model for the rest of the country. All right, well we want to give the, um, the information again on how to get an application for Project All. 
chelincoln.org or Leadership Lincoln at 441-4661. Thank you very much, Dean Thank and you. Lori. And coming up, we'll learn more about Project All from two people who have completed the program. Stay with us. <laughs>